spring is in the air and it's time for Dollar Tree Spring DIY. So let's go on in and get started. For our first project today, we're going to use a muffin tin from the Dollar Tree. I'm going to use some folk art white chalk paint and I'm going to give it a co couple of coats. It took about two coats. It's okay if some of the metal is still showing through. Then I took some ink by Waverly in my chibi brush. Very little paint in that brush and I'm just going to go over the kind of edges to give it a distressed look. Then I'm going to take a smaller paintbrush and these glitter bunnies that I also got at the Dollar Tree and I'm going to cover them with one coat of folk art chalk paint. It's okay if some of your color of the bunny is showing through. Then I took some Spanish moss that I had on hand. You can also pick this Spanish moss up, up at Dollar Tree as well. I'm going to add some hot glue into my muffin tin just to make sure that it stays in there. I'm going to take one of our bunnies, add it to a, one of the muffin tins with the Spanish moss, and then I also have these plastic eggs that I picked up at the Dollar Tree as well. This can be a total Dollar Tree DIY, and so that makes it super fun. I love the farmhouse look of this one. So I'm going to take some of my buffalo check ribbon, tie it off in some knots at the bottom, and we're going to hot glue that to the sides of our tin. This could be a hanging piece if you would like it to. If you want, you could have a little bit more uh, secure than just this hot glue, but I usually put mine in an easel or stick it up on a shelf. But here it is style for you guys. I love this one. It's my favorite of the video. Let me know what you think about it. Turn the tide Let the water go where it wants so for this project, we're going to use a hurricane vase that you can get from the Dollar Tree. We're also using some of the twine that has the wire in it that comes from the Dollar Tree. You could use nautical rope here as well. I know you've seen vases before where people have wrapped the nautical rope around the bottom and used it as a candle holder. We're not going to quite do that today. We're going to take this twine and we're going to just kind of wrap it around into a kind of design. So we're not going to cover the entire bottom here. I don't put glue on all the pieces. Pieces, I just kind of go where they connect together and I put some hot glue in those like connection spaces. I don't want the hot glue to show on our vase. Then we're going to take some pearls from the Dollar Tree. Now these are two different sizes. I have larger pearls and then once I have the larger pearls like all around the vase I'm going to go back in with some smaller pearls and I'm going to add those into some various areas. So I want it to look like it's um, not symmetrical I guess because I don't want it to be total like a total design <laughs> so I just kind of go in and fill in any kind of blank spaces that I see around the base this is really a pretty project. Now you can do a couple different things with it. You can use it as a candle holder. So you could put some of the white rocks that they have at Dollar Tree into it and you could use it for a candle. I'm gonna make a centerpiece here with a vase using this and kind of um, some Easter spring type decor that's gonna go on the inside. So once I get all of my pearls on the outside, I went ahead and put these faux tulips that I got from Target Dollar Spot a couple years ago. It might have been last year. And then I'm going to add some um, Spanish moss along with my eggs. And then I decide to add a bunny in there as well. I think this turned out so cute. It's definitely customizable. You could put whatever you wanted in the inside. as long, And you could also use whatever flowers you wanted. I just absolutely love these tulips. And anytime I get a chance to use them, I do. Somebody told me don't. So this is another version of our previous DIY that we're going to put together and it can also be all Dollar Tree DIY here. Um, I'm using a mason jar I already had on hand but I was at the Dollar Tree the other day and I do know that they sell mason jars so you can pick one up. I got these little wreaths. Um, I I think these wreaths actually came from Hobby Lobby, um, but you could create one if you can't find the little wreaths with some twine or some um, jute rope as well. And then we're going to add some eggs here. We're going to add some raffia at the top, and you can get raffia at the Dollar Tree. Check out the Crafter Square area. Sometimes they sell it in little packs, and we're just going to tie that around the top. We're going to use some ribbon to make a shabby bow. I never know if I should leave like how to make the shabby bow in the video or not. Sometimes I think if you're a returning viewer of mine, I make these all the time. So you might not want to see it, but if you're a new viewer of mine, you might want to see it. So I left this one in today, but we're just going to crisscross our ribbon. I'm using some of the um, 
raffia today to tie off the middle and then we're going to glue that into the middle of our raffia that's already there. I then decide that we need a little fun in this as well so I'm going to take another one of those little bunnies, stick it into the middle of the jar and that's it for this one. If you are loving Dollar Tree DIYs as much as I do, I would love it if you went in the comments and left me a little tree emoji. For this project we're going to take a picture frame from the Dollar Tree and when I got home with my picture frame I realized my glass was broken but that's okay we don't really need the glass for this project. So if you have a picture frame at home that you just want to upcycle that would work as well. This um, burlap actually came from the Dollar Tree as well. I got these big packs a couple years ago. I don't know if it was just like a thing they had extra but sometimes they do sell these big rolls of it. So I also got this stencil from the Dollar Tree. I'm using white folk art chalk paint and we're going to stencil all these birds onto our burlap. Once I get that done we're going to go ahead and add it to our frame. I don't put any tape here or anything I just add all the pieces of the frame back into the frame without the glass. Then I used some ribbon that I had on hand just some burlap ribbon and we're going to make a little awareness bow tie it off in the middle glue it at the top. This was so easy you could definitely use any stencil stickers would look cute here as well but it's absolutely adorable. I like how it turned out let me know what you guys think about it. For this project we're going to use these hoop wreaths that they have at the Dollar Tree. I'm going to use the large and medium size one and we're going to tie it up at the top. Once I get it tied at the top I'm going to take these plastic eggs again that I've been using through the video and I'm going to use some other twine pieces that are smaller. I tied a knot at the end and then I'm going to hot glue that to the end of our egg. Once I get that attached to the egg, I'm going to go ahead and do that process over again another four times so I have five eggs all together. I'm then going to tie those eggs to the top of our wreath forms, both of the wreath rings. If you aren't following me on my other socials, I would love it if you checked me out there. I have Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, and Pinterest, and I would love it if you went and checked me out over there. After we get those tied on to the top of our wreath, I'm going to use a bow that I made out of some buffalo check ribbon. This is just a quick awareness bow and I'm going to give the end some dovetails. Then I'm going to add some greenery. I went ahead and put the packaging back underneath the hoops just so that it wouldn't, the hot glue would not fall onto my table. And then I just removed that packaging once I was done with that. But here it is for you guys. I like this kind of modern twist with just the eggs and the hoops. I think it's really cute. Let me know what you think about this one. Thanks for hanging out with me today. Here is another video for you to check out next. And as always, wherever you are in your journey is a perfect place to start. And I will see you in my next video. Bye friends.